Hi everybody, Quint Lears, NewHomesales.com. I'm here with Patrick Almond. Patrick, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, I appreciate it. This is, this is pretty exciting stuff and this is amazing what's going on here at the conference today. Yeah, and, uh, he's a member of the National Speakers Association. You had a big conference here. I'm proud to have you on the program. Um, he's got the, the website allaboutfocus.com and you are focused on something um, very, very special, very coveted by home builders, by salespeople. What is it that you focus on? What we focus on is digital lead generation for home builders and for realtors. As you know nowadays, everything happens on the internet. And so whether it's having websites or Google ads or Facebook ads, all that's involved, which funnels into what you do, which is new home sales. And so we start with the digital side and then uh, it gets handed off to people like you who actually you know, convert people and, and get them to buy a house. You know, I talk to salespeople all the time and they say, and I know they're outstanding salespeople and they say, you know, I, I I, I wish I, I would do a lot better if I, I just need leads. So you're like right. beating people even before <laughs> they get to the people. How do you do that? Exactly. Well, what, I, what we do is what I call digital lead generation, which is the targeting and finding the people that are interested in buying homes in the right demographics with the right psychographic information, driving them to a place that says, hey, would this be useful for your family? Are you growing as a family? Do you need more space? Do you need an office at home? And then getting them to either call a phone number or fill out a form, which we can then track all kinds of detail for and turn it over to the home builder so they know how to follow up. But our goal is just to find the right people. And it can be a challenge. But thankfully, with technology, there's also a lot of available targeting information out there to make sure you can find the person with the right demographic and the right psychographic information. Okay, so give me some specifics tips, how do you accomplish that? For example, this morning, a session we did on Facebook marketing, there's ways in Facebook to target people who are interested in new home buyers or upgrading to a, from an older home to a newer home. You can target them based on credit rating. You can target them based on income. A lot of times you have like luxury home builders who don't want to target the people like in the twenty to 40000 range. Maybe they want to target a hundred to 150000 to $200,000 range. You can do that with all the targeting that's available in Facebook and inside uh, Google. Well, you're making a big impact. Um, being a member of the National Speakers Association, how has that impacted your career? Well, I always tell people that you go to Toastmasters to learn how to speak, but you learn to go to NSA to basically learn how to grow a speaking business. And NSA has been valuable. The whole reason I'm here is for because another NSA member connected me and saw we would be good as co-presenters, and so she brought me in. Hopefully, I'm going to be involved in this conference for a while, but it's helped my network. It's helped actually grow my bottom line, and I get plenty of consulting business just from the referrals from other NSA members. So it's been a blessing being a member there. So, so who have been some of your mentors? I mean, you're a thought leader, you're, you're an industry professional. Who have been some of the people that have impacted uh, your life? Oh my goodness. When I go back and think about it, uh, there's a gentleman named uh, Randy Gage, who I believe talks about sales a lot, who's an NSA member, who's had a big impact on, on the work I do. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to think of just some of the other names. Oh, there's another name, another gentleman named Tom Singer, T H O M Singer, who runs a podcast uh, about entrepreneurs. He's had a big impact on my life and given me a lot of advice. So those are the first two NSA members that come to mind that basically they've given me at some point in time, we sat down over a meal. They gave me like one key piece of advice that has basically changed either my speaking or my consulting career. Now, what is that advice? Uh, the one for Tom Singer, for example, Tom Singer and I were talking about on stage speaking, and he was saying, when you're on stage speaking, it's great to get applause and love and kudos and all those things afterwards. He says, but the primary thing you want from an on stage speaking gig is to walk off the stage and have somebody else say, hey, can you come to my organization and speak? That's, he said, if you get no applause and you get one lead, then your entire speaking gig was worth it. And so that's my goal every single time now I speak is when I walk off stage to have follow on business. Now, that's an awesome goal. Give me actually a speaking tip. Somebody who was like, you know, I'm an aspiring speaker. Uh -huh. You know, besides something vague like joining an organization, right. what's a tip that you do? Warm up, during the method, something, a joke, humor. I mean, tell me a technique that you that you use that's one of your signature, like, helps you be successful. Got it. Um, I can kind of put this as a two-way tip. Number one would be the concept of not being boring. Not being boring in either my presentation style or the way I dress. I mean, when I walked up today and I saw you, for example, I saw the purple style tie, and I knew that compared to some of the other speakers, you look outstanding visually. So try to, as much as possible, be different. And I also tell people that as much as possible, try not to be so rigid in your presentation style. Relax, have fun with it. You know, help the audience warm up to you and you warm up to them. After a while, they'll accept your real message. Oftentimes when we're speaking about a topic, um, the topic itself can be kind of boring sometimes. You know, sometimes sales and marketing is not the most exciting thing. But if you can present it in an exciting way, if you can tell great stories and you can make it visually interesting, your message will be received a lot better. 
what is your why? I mean, I sense your enthusiasm, your excitement. I thought the same thing. I'm like, look at this guy's red shirt, man. I like it. So tell me what, what gets you out of bed? What keeps your enthusiasm? I mean, because it's not all, you know, big speaking games. You have the low times, the hard right. times of travel, the cancellations. Tell me about that. How do you get through the hard times and what is your why? My why is basically to show people that technology is not that hard. Everything I've done in my life has always been education-based, and it's always been around technology. So whether it's been in elementary schools, which I volunteer back in in Oklahoma City, or whether it's speaking at conferences, I like to show people that when we're talking about a particular technology, that it doesn't have to be so complicated. And that's what I'm really good. I'm really good about taking a complicated topic and making it simple. And to me, it really jazzes me up when... Uh, somebody, after getting done speaking, someone comes up to me and says, you know what, I've watched five other speakers on that same topic, and I never understood a word they were saying, and I finally understood you. That's what really gets me up in, in the morning, is to make sure that people understand te technology. Okay, but let's say technology doesn't even exist. Right. Where does, what is that desire that you have to disseminate information and dissect it and make it easy? I, I think it, it kind of comes back to um, a lot of the, a lot of the, um, the training and educating people. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things in my life where I don't have any formal education. I had to self-teach it. And I, again, like to kind of reshare that information, simplify it, um, make somebody else's life easier that comes after me. One of the things I learned from NSA is as you progress in the world, you need to lift people on your shoulders above you. And so I try to go back and do that. I try to basically... People that are coming in behind me in the world, younger people, things like that, make their life easier and help them be better speakers than, than I was and help them have an easier time than I, than I did. That's beautiful, man. And you're, 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 you've, over, you've had some challenges, had, so you understand that, and now you want to help people out of those challenges. Yep. So what's the vision, man? Where do you see this going in the future? You're here at the International Builders Show. This is the biggest event in the country. Yep. You're, you know, you're on the you're a keynote speaker. What's next, and what, what's the long-term vision for Patrick Almond? Well, being that it's my first time here, I'm actually kind of overwhelmed how big this event is. My, my short-term goal is to see if I can find a way to come back next year and get even more involved. Maybe do you know a session on my own versus partnering up with somebody. But outside of that, I really want to drive people to see that um, entrepreneurship and business itself is not that hard if you just take daily small actions. We just left a session uh, a little bit ago where a guy talked about sales and talked about sales is really easy. You just make X number of calls per day and you do X number of follow-ups. I really like to drive people to that route also to see that really massive success is not that hard if you just take place with stuff with simple daily actions and I even have another brand called stop doing nothing and that's that's primarily what I push that out is every single day you know you can't really sit on your laurels work seven days a week but but have some small consistent habits and probably everything I do in my life is wrapped up underneath that theme all right now look one of your goals is to get you know, a lead or something else yep. so how do our people the audience how do they connect with you and uh, tell me what you're doing Got it. My main website is uh, allaboutfocus.com, Focus Digital Marketing, and we do digital lead generation. So if you have any interest in that, go to my website, fill out a form, it'll generate a lead inside my system, and I'll follow up immediately with you, either with a text message or an email, and we'll figure out if we're a good fit together. Now, last question. Yeah. You talked about daily habits. Yes. Give me one daily habit that's, that's been profound for you. Uh, when I get up in the morning, probably within about 30 seconds of me getting out of bed, I have drank uh, six to seven glasses of water. It's amazing that we always think that coffee is the caffeine that wakes us up in the morning. But when we sleep at night, we are, we are massively dehydrated. And so I ingest a lot of water. I have a, you see those silver Yeti cups? Each one of those Yeti cups holds three and a half cups of water. I've measured it. So I will drink two of those within about 10 minutes of me waking up. And it's amazing how fast my body wakes up, how fast I get hydrated, and the amount of energy level I have within the first 30 minutes of I wake up, as long as I hydrate first thing. I love that. Now, listen, um, proud to have you on the program. Keep making an impact. Don't forget about us. We're going we're to keep in touch, okay? Honest, sir, everybody, we, we want you to follow this guy. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Quint Lear's New Home too, Sales. Too. Please subscribe, guys. <laughs> we're going to great lengths to bring you the best in the business. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, sir. Any last shout-outs? Uh, goodness gracious. Make sure you get to the, if you're a home builder, make sure you get to this event. And don't forget, what's the name? You have a new book over there on the shelf. What's the name of your book? Partnering with Brokers to Win More Sales. Thanks, man. Yeah, go check out this guy's book. It, anyone who writes a book is a thought leader. And anyone who writes a book, I give much more credibility to the guy that just talks about writing a book. So go check out his book. And uh, who, is it the per who is it that invited you to the uh, conference? Oh, Meredith Oliver at CreatingWow.com. She's been speaking at this conference for almost two decades, and I was lucky that she invited me. And this year I partnered with her and spoke. Maybe next year I can be a big boy and go out on my own and speak when I'm at the conference. Hey, you're, you're already doing great. We're <laughs> proud of you. Much. Thanks so much. Hello.